Hello there, this is the CIA Corner here on TAF TV. Ayo Kema is my name and I'm your co-host for today. Alright, like you know here in CIA, we bring to you the commentaries as it keeps unfolding regarding headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper. Now, it will interest you to know that Martin Semewele, the former House of Assembly member, and 24 others are currently in court. So we'll be addressing that area today and police officers as directed by the IGP to keep the barricade standing across our various secretariat in the 23 local governments of River State. Now, don't go anywhere. I'll bring you details of the story after the break. You're welcome back from that very, very. Mm. Yo, <laughs> which one be that one? <laughs> All right, you're welcome back from that very quick break. Now it is no longer news. As long as you're Nigerian, you will know that the struggle for power in our dearest nation, Nigeria, the struggle for power in our dearest nation, Nigeria, is one of the things that are putting us on our knees. It looks as if of late Nigeria has become a family issue where, okay, this, uh, it is my turn to actually rule. And it looks as if, just like I said, Nigeria has become a family affair. Now, speaking of Nigeria becoming a family affair, let's just divert a little bit before we get into river state crisis. I know most, most persons are, are actually tired of hearing this particular news because it has lingered for more than two weeks now. But we're always here to bring it to you as it keeps unfolding. Now it will interest you to know that two brothers are currently fighting themselves. The Emirs of Kanu are currently fighting themselves over um, what most persons would say um, a tussle for power, a struggle for power. And this is, it is quite funny because this set of persons have not actually faced um, the other side of life, like the poverty side of life. And look at them out here fighting, struggling for power. And just like most people will always say, when two brothers are fighting, you, you want to get yourself involved, you will get burnt. And it looks as if that is what is currently going on in our dearest state, River State. Because it looks just like we know two brothers are, have been fighting in River State prior to this time, before this um, local government executive issue actually came out. This uh, caretaker uh, committee in across our 23 local government actually came out. The fight, the rivers crisis in quotes, has actually been rolling. Although our dearest governor, Sim Fubara, made it very clear a few days ago that there is peace, but we are yet to actually see that peace come um, to limelight. Now, it will also interest you to know that um, the former, just like I said earlier, the former uh, House of Assembly member, the president of Martins Amewele and 24 others, are before the court, and I'll be reading out his words directly. He says, Martin Zemewele and others are requesting the court to halt the implementation of high court ruling that's removed them from office, pause any further action in the case, and nullify any decisions made by Jumbo while in office. Now, we still remember that, um, um, let's just cast our minds back to what has been trilling our headlines for the past two weeks now. 23 ex Executive Council members uh, exceeded their tenure on the 7th of this month, and they were asked to leave office. But um, they quoted the, the, amend, uh, the amended bill that uh, actually permits them to have an extension of six months, which that bill was rolled out during uh, the days of Victor Oko Jumbo. And that, um, that bill, in quotes, is no longer valid. So this, our ex-council uh, chairman, are still adamant and pressing home the point that they still have an extension of six months. And we also remember that our dearest governor, Sim Fubara, gave directives to the head of local government councils to take over the administrations. I know this news has actually made rounds for the past two weeks now. And all of a sudden, two persons paid the supreme price. Um, some headlines will say three persons, some headlines will say two. But we know some persons paid uh, a supreme price during this process. We also remember that most youth in uh, across our 23 local government area actually protested and said that these men should leave office, that giving them six months will not make, will not heal any good difference uh, prior to the fact that they have, spent, they have spent 
three years, most of them more than eight years in that office, and they have not made any positive impact. So at this point, the case is currently in the Court of Appeal. And um, Martin Zemewele, just like I read out his words, that um, this issue sh should be ruled out, that um, the law should actually prevail, that they still have six months of extension in office. Now, that is, what, that is not the issue we, we are actually addressing today. We will be talking about, uh, we, we, know, we know prior to this time that the IGP gave instructions to our police officers to mount barricades across our secretariats, 23 local government areas. You always have, currently for the past four to five days now, we've had police officers mounting our gates and restricting uh, members of that uh, offices to gain access to it. Now, it is quite funny because at first, it looks as if, okay, it was okay for the IGP to uh, actually call uh, called out on our, our police personnel to mount um, our local government offices in order to curtail the protest because it was really, really getting bloody. Just like we earlier said, the police officer lost his life. Uh, a vigilante actually lost his life. Most reports said three. Most persons said two. So some persons have actually paid the supreme price. So at some point, it was very, very okay to have these men mount um, our, 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 our secretariat gate in order to curtail the peace and, uh, and not let the, the issue get out of hand. But of late, it looks as if, okay, um, this, this is like a return march. We know prior to this time, Fubara's boys, uh, um, uh, we just put it that way, the supporters, the supporters of, of Fubara were the ones against this um, ex-executive councilman from returning to office. We still remember what happened in LMA uh, local government area where um, one of the uh, executive council members went to resume office that Monday and he was chased out and, and mm, a lot of stones were thrown at him. So. Of late, it looks as if, okay, this is like a return match. Let me show you that I also have some level of authority. Now, most Nigerians are, are, are speculating that these um, police officers have actually mounted the gate enough. Funny enough, they have not allowed this new, uh, in, uh, this newly inaugurated. Uh, so of late, um, it looks as if um, this man, because... No, we know of late, a um, few, few days back, four days and uh, approximately six to, to over, over a week now, our dearest governor, Sim Fubara, uh, inaugurated a 23-man caretaker committee to take over these offices. But funny enough, um, instead of um, this, uh, our security agencies to allow these men resume office, let's just see if, uh, if finally our old men will actually leave office. No. So the newly inaugurated catch a command that were supposed to take over offices, we refuse access to their premises across the 23 local government areas. By this, the police officers that were meant to actually uh, sustain the peace. Uh, just like I said at, at first, we thought, okay, uh, these men are here to uh, put the situation under control. But of late, it looks as if they are actually siding one particular angle. Most Nigerians are of the opinion that, okay, I, I, they, they feel that um, these, these policemen are getting authorities from Abuja, like the higher might is in Abuja. We, we, we don't want to start pointing fingers direct. But it is no longer funny that um, the governor of, of the state will, will, will inaugurate new, new men to take over offices, and the police officers will not uh, grant them access to the office. So it looks as if uh, there's some, some level of foreplay in this their, uh, barricades they are putting. And funny enough, most um, uh, societal organizations are already planning protests. Most youth are already putting it up to um, the police agency and the IGP direct, directing them, directing him in, in particular to call off his boys from our secretariat. It is no longer funny that they have mounted the gate for um, over, uh, over a week now, no, not letting people gain access to that, um, not, not letting people gain access, especially the, the newly elected men to gain access to their office. Let it not look as if, okay, since um, the, the Fubara boys did not allow the ex-executive council men get into office, and now the police officers are the ones stopping the uh, newly uh, uh, elected executive council men to step into office. Now, it looks, just like I said, it looks like a foreplay. So we are pleading with the IGP to please call all these boys from the gates because, because protests are, are, are already looming in the, in the heart of every single uh, youth here, here in River State. They are planning a very uh, nasty protest, just like um, the headlines on our daily post is actually ringing, that some youth are planning underground protests. And it will not be funny to uh, record another loss of life of, of a police officer. We know how, dras uh, 
we know how dramatic our protests, our youth protests used to get. Now, um, also adding to this, the All Progressive um, Party, the, the APC, now adding to this, the All Progressive Party, the APC, the uh, River State chapter, are of the opinion that federal government should declare um, River State uh, a state of emergency. That is very, very unfair to my own part. Why declare River State uh, a, a state of emergency? They are of the opinion that um, the governor has actually failed in, in the aspect of uh, protecting lives and property. We know that uh, two persons actually died in River State, but that is not uh, a good reason. They, they were also of the opinion that um, during this um, clash between Wiki and, and Fubara's boys, that in quotes, uh, some persons had um, gunshot injuries regarding the fact that three persons died. Some persons got m uh, matched injuries. That the federal government should declare uh, River State a state of emergency. And they also added that they are not against um, Sim Fubara as a person, but they are against his governance and his office. It is quite funny where you're, 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 you're telling Nigerians that you're not against um, a person, but you're against his office. That, that's some level of, should I say, uh, lies ringing bells in those words. So at this point, we're pleading with the IGP and the federal government to please look into the issue of River State again. It, is, it has actually uh, made rounds across our, our various headlines. It is, no longer making, it is no longer making sense. So at this point, for, uh, for us not to record any further death of um, our vigilantes and police officers, just like I said, most youth are actually planning a protest against the barricades that have been placed across our 23 local government areas and secretariat. So please, we are pleading with the gov federal government to please step into this. And finally, we should allow governance to play. So finally, we're pleading with the IGP to please take off his boys from our gates across the 23 local government area because it will not be funny that we're recording yet another protest in River State. Because what actually started as a political struggle, the Godfatherism factor, is gradually gaining smoke. And we are pleading it should not become a wildfire that, that, that will finally place, just like what the, the APC uh, chapter is seeking, the state of emergency, so that we will not get to a state of emergency here in River State. Now we are also pleading to every citizen of our dearest state to stay safe. Because, because what actually started as a Godfatherism fight here in River State is gradually gaining smoke and we're praying to the almighty God that it should not become a wildfire that will become so uncontrollable that at the end of the day, God forbid, River State will be declared a state of emergency. All right, that's all we have for you in regards to the headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper. Remember, you also can be part of this show. Do well to subscribe. Follow us up on all our social media handles so that you get updated each time we drop videos like this. My name is Ayo Keme, and this has been the CIA Corner here on TAF TV. Like I always say, don't forget to take care of yourself. See you next time. Thank you.